Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the Strat Butcher episode number five. In this video, we're going to make a nut from scratch for the Strat Butcher. We're gonna do a little bit of the tidying up of the fretwork. Remember a couple of episodes ago, I said that I had a bit of a high fret, so I need to sort that out, make sure everything's polished up. Then, Maybe in this video we can get to some of the final assembly of this guitar. Can't guarantee that yet as it's been a couple of days again since I last recorded anything about this guitar that you would have seen at the end of episode 4 and it's still not fully cured. I can still smell the off-gassing smell from the oil. Let me sort that out. It is 11 minutes past six in the morning because this is the only kind of time that I get to do stuff all late at night because this is not a loud task. We're gonna crack on. So, we we're saying before, so we hope they're gonna get some of the assembly completed in this video. There is still off-gassing from the oil it's kind of smelt the same for a couple of days and it definitely feels like completely hardened on the neck. It does still, however, feel not tacky, but just slightly more mushy on the top of the body. So this just could be that new smell. If it stays like this again for another couple of days, I'm just gonna try some wax and see how that goes. Um, but for the time being, we're gonna crack on with this nut. So I've got a selection of files, sanding sticks, cutting devices, measuring devices, a couple of saws, polishing and marking equipment to do this. And a small micro vise so that we can put the nut in while we're doing all the cutting and the shaping and the polishing. So let's crack on. Now the first thing I like to do is to make sure that the slot is square so when the nut goes in that it's right tight up against the sides of the slot. So with calipers, I'm just going to go ahead and measure 5.66, 5.66 5.63, 5 5.7, 5 5.79. We're pretty close there. I'm not gonna make any changes, I don't think. I think that is perfectly square enough that we're not gonna have any gaps. And the nut is gonna slot in there with a nice tight fit. Now, the other thing to think about in this case is I originally put in the LSR roller nut, which is a different depth. Also, this nut is gonna be wider than usual because the LSR roller nut is wider. Now, I think it's gonna be perfectly fine to leave it at its current depth and to shape the nut to fit the slot. I've made this mistake before where I've tried to shape the slot to fit the nut and it goes completely wrong. So I don't think we've got that much to take off this blank. 6.03 at one end, 6.05, 6, 6.95, 6, Nine seven, so we've got about 0.4 of a millimeter to take off, which is going to be super nice and easy. It's going to be really, really quick. It's coming down. This is a not coarse enough stick. All 
well, that was easy. The next thing is I'm gonna ensure I've got a flat base, both on the nut and in the slot, so that there isn't gonna be any rock and any gaps underneath the nut. So we're gonna pick a side, which is gonna be this side here, and this is gonna be the bottom. I'm going to mark the bottom with the T and that's going to represent the treble side. We can check against a machine block and confirm that it is in fact flat. Check for gaps and there is a very, very tiny gap on both sides. So we're going to clean that up. In this case, this is now dead flat and square, looking very, very, very carefully at the bottom edge of my nut. There is a slight curve to it. So I'm gonna get that on one of the files and just make sure that it really is dead flat. Next, taking the half round, the half pencil, and going over the frets. Go back, check our fit, our width is good.
Now the task is to go backwards and forwards on the nut, filing until we're getting to a desired location where we can start thinking about exactly where the strings are going to go. Our width is almost bang on, so we're looking pretty good there. I am going to take the nut height down to in between the two lines. Okay, pretty happy with the way that it is at the moment. Got a bit of a pitch back and the width is 99% there. The final sanding and polishing will get that to where it needs to be. I'm not gonna go any lower at the moment because I like to do a full setup, string fit, get the strings to the right height, remove the strings, and then finally sand the nut to the desired level so that the nut slots are not mega deep, just enough that it's putting the string in the right location. Uh, it stops any binding, especially with the use of a trebolo, which this guitar does have. So we use the string spacing rule to figure out exactly where the strings are gonna be, just get some interim slots cut in the nut, and then we'll get back to this when the guitar is being assembled. the beginnings of the nut. That looks good. Already feels good. And um, yeah, I'll just leave the nut there for the time being. We'll be on to the next task. What is up YouTube? I am unfortunately gonna have to end the video here. I'm coming to you from the future because this is currently where the guitar is at. The video that you are watching is edited to be about 40 minutes long. Now, I don't really want to be releasing videos of that length. I would rather be releasing videos that are eight to 15 minutes in length. Keep it short, keep it sweet. That is something that I'm working on. Uh, so I'm gonna end this video here and then it's gonna carry on in a few days with getting the guitar up to this stage, which still actually isn't fully complete. And I know there has been some feedback on audio. Unfortunately, something's happened with my camera recently and it's lost a bunch of my preset settings for my microphone and for my white balance. 
So please bear with me. Uh, I am trying to resolve this because audio is important. And um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating, not just for you guys, but also for me. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful bank holiday weekend coming up. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. See ya.